I undercooked my food to get back at a food thief. I started working at my new workplace six months ago. Most of those here have been here for years. I'm one of two people that have been here less than two years. There is an office food thief that will steal people's food and even throw away their Tupperware. She's been here 10 years, and people have just adopted the mentality of it is what it is, we can't do anything about it. She only takes one person's food a day. They know exactly who the food thief is and just suffer through it. They even call her the food goblin. She took my food the last first time I put it in the fridge resulting in me just not having food till 9pm. I've kept my food at my desk since, and stopped eating food that needs to be refrigerated, till I had an idea. I half cooked some food, made it look appetizing, but didn't make it even slightly edible. I left a typed up note on the food stating it wasn't fully cooked, but didn't leave my name on it. She ate the food, and almost died, and had to spend eight days in the hospital. The company can't figure out whose food it was, and now she's afraid to come to work, and thinks somebody wants to end her. It's been a couple of weeks since she returned, and she thinks everybody is out to get her and won't go near the kitchen, even brought her own mini fridge for her desk area a few days ago. Edit 1 It was my homemade chili, which has chicken and beef in it. I've had some people tell me that sounds gross, but everybody that has said that changed their mind after trying it. I basically made a full pot, got the idea before it was even close to properly cooked, scooped some into a Tupperware, then typed up printed the note at home in a Tupperware that wasn't a part of my typical Tupperware set. Edit 2.5 Quick note, if the food had been taken out of the container and cooked in a kettle for about 30-ish minutes, till boiling really, it would have been safe to eat. But I usually slow cook my chili for half a day. If she hadn't have stolen it I would have likely used a workplace kettle and cooked it through fully to eat myself. Edit 2.75 by kettle, I meant pot. Apparently I've been calling a pot a kettle for over 25 years. Edit 3 This woman mid-40s is a favorite of the C-suite, that is why she never gets reprimanded or punished for stealing food for over a decade. She hosts dinners and such at her home for the C-suite. CEO, CFO etc. Edit 4 Fixed some typos. Someone should take the food out of her mini fridge and eat it. Somebody wants to end her? She wouldn't have that problem if she weren't a food thief. Sounds like she lost her appetite for stolen goodies people who steal other people's food deserve what they get. You put food in the fridge that you knew needed to be properly cooked. You even put a note on it to remind yourself that it didn't just need reheating, it needed to be cooked. Nothing to see here. End her. Ha 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 she obviously didn't get the moral of the story. My favorite type of petty revenge in this sub is food theft revenge stories, like I just can't comprehend people stealing random people's food. Like how are you so brave yet so stupid? Do these people have no fear of being poison? Well done pun intended. This is how you deal with food thieves. It was clearly labeled as undercooked and everything. Sounds like a win-win. Nice amazing now she can bring her own food, for her own fridge. It's fairly dramatic, but she did survive and whether or not she learned her lesson is up to her. You aren't trying to end her, just some behavior modification it worked. Why hasn't she been written up for theft? Someone should prepare an expensive meal, let her take it then call the police, since the company won't protect employees from theft. I would publicly ask her how someone could want to end her if she was eating her own lunches and got sick, and then when she has to admit she's been stealing food I would ask how someone could intentionally be out to hurt her when she is the one, maliciously stealing food not meant for her and let her logic that one out. Um nope, she's so gd stupid she almost ended herself. I mean a sign even. Was it chicken or pork? Inquiring minds want to know. Is she financially on the hook for the hospital stay too? Chef's kiss. The most amazing part is that you labeled it and she still ate it. The amount of entitlement is truly astonishing. Put a random meal in her mini fridge. She will be terrified. 
Sugar-free gummy bears. Perfectly legal and needs no warning. The last paragraph made me laugh my ass off OMG. This woman mid-forties is a favorite of the C-suite. Ah, the office throat goat. You literally put her trough a saw minigame on a lower scale and that is the best thing I read today. If you're in the US you might be able to use OSHA to deprive her of her fridge. See if it is labeled for household use only. Has a two-prong power plug must have a three-prong or if it's plugged into a power strip must have a permanent outlet available. If it cannot be safely plugged in or if it's a household use only item then could be an electrical hazard. And you can file a complaint with OSHA that your employer is allowing its presence and making your workplace potentially unsafe. Never ever tell anyone that you've done this. It could lead to some serious trouble for you. Great revenge but keep your mouth shut about it. Yes best post all day. We should be friends I only used to drink skimmed milk someone kept nicking it at work. Then I decided to express some breast milk kept it in the fridge. The thieving bastard only drank it never did find out who it was but I enjoyed telling everyone at work about it everyone laughing. There's no doubt in my mind that the thief found out about it rolling on the floor laughing. P.S. Remember to microwave as it's not yet cooked properly. Genius. It's a fun story, but how did you know she would take your food that particular day? This kind of behavior is incomprehensible to me. If you did this at my work, you'd be sacked for theft. Well that worked a treat. There was literally a note on it and she ate it anyway. Wait. Management knew who the food thief was and did nothing to stop her? WTF. I knew a guy who had a horrible food thief at his office. No one knew who it was, so he packed a PBJ sandwich with his pubic hair in it and waited. He had to do this a few times before the person outed themselves. Gross but effective, I guess. Pro status. I love this war a too much. Sounds like the lesson was learned. Did you read the story of the guy that used to steal lunches in the office? Someone put high-strength prescription laxatives in the guacamole or something. They ended up getting jail time for stealing meds face with tears of joy. I would start stealing food from her fridge. Not sure what department your food thief works in but hopefully nothing that allows access to money or private credit information associated with employees, customers or vendors. Not sure how accurate it is but read somewhere eons ago that an employee who is willing to steal from fellow employees will likely not hesitate to also steal from their employer. I don't get food thief who blames others when they get sick. The solution would be stop eating other people's food, sheesh. They never think something could happen. She ate food that didn't belong to her, glad she no longer eats people's food and is paranoid now. Good on you OP. The company can't figure out whose food it was. So she admitted she stole it. Steal the food from her mini fridge. It's one thing to be impoverished and stealing food from a store. It's entirely another to be the favorite of the executives and pilfering your comrades' meals. You should delete this post, because reasons. If the food had been taken out of the container and cooked in a kettle for about 30-ish minutes, till boiling really, it would have been safe to eat. That's not how it works. And I'm not trying to pile on here, I just don't want you to make yourself sick. It's not always the microorganisms that will make you sick. It's their byproducts, and many of those remain toxic through heating. This is why you can't half cook something. Take it off the heat, then finish cooking it later. Food thieves at an old job were so bad, I got one of those lunch bags you can freeze, so it's basically a portable mini fridge for a few hours. Even with that, I caught some motherfucker at my desk about to open it. I was IT support, and by some strange coincidence, his laptop never worked right again, ever. If you're dealing with a lunch thief and the company won't do anything, get some solid proof and take them to small claims court. Get her on the hook for the cost of food plus recovering your filing fees.